You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather coverage you can count on. Sunny skies today in Chico. Here's a look outside at DeGarmo Park where this dog is having a lot of fun running around in the sun, even with that big fur coat. Chief Meteorologist Jason Stiff is tracking conditions. Jason, you know I run with my dog in the morning and we've got to get up really early because she's got that long hair too and the dogs, it's just too much for them in the heat. Oh yeah, and it uh, heats up rapidly. Yeah. Our, now our overnight lows are only dropping down to the 60s and it's only staying in the 60s for an hour or two before the sun begins to warm everything up and it gets hot rapidly this time of year. Right now it's 100 degrees in Chico and that's just at the airport, even hotter downtown. It's 105 in Oroville. 106 after a high of 107 this afternoon in Reading, 92 in Chester, and 95 degrees in Paradise. So a toasty day for everyone, not a cloud to be seen around our area. We've had a couple of them popping up over the mountains, but just like the last several days, they're going to disappear tonight when that sun goes down, and we'll still have plenty of sunshine both Thursday and Friday. The only difference, though, is that trough that I've been tracking all week. It's going to be moisture-starved, probably won't even see a cloud from it, but we're going to be a little bit cooler Friday. Friday afternoon compared to today or tomorrow or the last several days and we'll still have the breezes developing too and you can even pick out the passage of that trough moving overhead as we look at our wind gust future cast very little wind tomorrow morning just like the last several days the breezes will pick up but then by late tomorrow night you'll see some of that wind start to push in from the north and west right down the valley giving us a little bit more of a cool down but only a degree or two you may not even notice it by the afternoon hours and we're still going to skyrocket right back up by the time we get into this coming weekend so here we have another red flag warning out through 8 o'clock tonight for Modoc County and Eastern Siskiyou County and another one for the same 2 to 8 p.m. time span for Thursday for both Siskiyou County and Modoc County. So if you want to be outside and maybe get in some lunch or dinner, uh, either get an umbrella or just eat inside. It's going to be really hot for everyone. Upper 90s by lunchtime around the valley, easily into the triple digits by dinner time, and it's going to stay there for quite some time. Here's your forecast for tomorrow. Thoroughly hot on Thursday for Trinity and Siskiyou counties with highs in the mid to upper 90s and lower triple digits for Hayfork as well as Weaverville. For the Northeast, we still have the red flag warnings in effect for Modoc and Siskiyou counties, and everyone's going to reach the 90s again tomorrow, up to 98 degrees for Quincy, 97 degrees for Shingletown, also 97 degrees for a high in Paradise, 93 in Forest Ranch, and 95 hot degrees in Megalia with some breezes in the afternoon. For the Valley, we'll have lows tonight in the mid to upper 60s, highs just as high as they were today. 105 to 107 degrees. So make sure you seek that shade out and get that air conditioning going. For the valley around the Chico area, lows night also in the 60s. High tomorrow between 102 and 105. Hot degrees. Not record breaking, but definitely above average. Next seven days in Chico, I was hoping for some double digit temperatures, but looking less likely now between 100 and 103 for the next seven days. And for the Reading area, even hotter than that, between 103 and 107.